And that is the name. I said it right. That's Teaspoon. <laughs> like T Pain, he's Teaspoon. <laughs> Hello everybody, hope everybody is doing well. As always, beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's a couple, but not a whole lot. But today's starting off a little rough. I broke my shoestring, which I think is a country song. What is it, Rascal Flats? Uh, like spilled my coffee, broke my shoelace, or something like that. So let's go ahead and fix that first thing. Perfect, look at those socks. Got a tractor on it back in business so what we are doing today is i'm planting some oats so we'll harvest these oats uh in the spring say around may and then we'll strip till cotton into them so i'm planting oats with dad's old grain drill i'm not sure how old this thing is probably older than me so 37 38 who knows international 5100 pulling it with our 8220 it's a uh, 12 foot grain drill and i can get around 11 acres uh, that's putting out around 100 bushels per acre so let's get it loaded up oh, dang it shoot i hope this isn't any indication of how today's gonna go unleash the oats Here, woodpecker got her loaded up holds around 1200 pounds of oats that like i say that'd take me around 100 or that'd take me around 11 to 12 acres pretty simple design you just you adjust it here depending if you're putting out oats wheat uh whatever then you've got another one down there this disc dad bought this disc disc d-i-s-c i always struggle disc dad bought this disc from an auction uh maybe five years ago it's a brown disc and uh when it came in they brought it and uh, i remember he says hey go check it out it's got brand new tires on it but the disc they brought had wore out tires about r half rotten i'm like no nah, they you know the tires are, are ruined to make a long story short they brought us the wrong disc they had to come get that one bring the other one so yeah it's the only time we use this disc is uh to to plant these uh oats don't really use it any other time than that but Enough jibber jabbering, let's get to plant some oats. See what our oil's looking like. Perfect. Go see what that hydraulic oil looks like. Just under, which is perfect in my eyes. Check it out, I've got about five acres done. And yeah, looking good. You've always got these tubes. Every now and then that'll stop up with you. Uh, that and also the tube sometimes will pop out, but uh, it's looking pretty good. You also probably notice I've got fancy new AirPods. Fingers crossed, I've had them for a week. I haven't lost them yet. I'm embarrassed to say how much I paid for them. They are the third generation, but I've been an Apple airpod wired headphone user for a long time so hopefully i don't i don't lose these uh because if i added up how much money i've actually wasted in airpods and have lost them throughout the years probably would alarm me back to plan tell you what why don't we go to the cotton field and check on keefe and jeff and our new guy teaspoon hey y'all we out here today trying to pick some cotton the weather's pretty. Cotton ain't picking worth a flip. Jimbo wanted me to show y'all what this cotton look like. I didn't really want to show y'all what this cotton look like. And I ain't proud of it. What the heck is that? 15 days since it's been defoliated. And it's picking like that. Horrible. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. We got a guy coming to look at it in a minute. See if we need to try to respray it. Maybe wait a little longer on it or just what we gonna do, I don't know. We got a teaspoon over there. He cleaned out radiators and helped me do the heads. He's up underneath there now. I'll show y'all. Y'all gotta, gotta meet teaspoon. Y'all haven't met him yet. 
How y'all doing? It's Teaspoon. I'm gonna show y'all how we was packing. But um, I got a camera too late. I wanted to show y'all that we had a little rain yesterday and we were gonna um, add a half a margin here and we were gonna take it and back the track up under it and get it socked back up and everything. But I just did that. I meant to show y'all footage before I did it, but I've already done, done it. Uh, this is my result right here. See, I got a little cotton hanging out here. Got a little cotton down on the ground here around it, which ain't no big deal because I come around and pick all that up and throw it back off in there. And these the these the modules that I already done did. These are the first two I did. I got them a little bigger than the rest of them, but I had to break it down because I didn't want the guys complaining in the trucks when they come out and pick them up by they picking up the front end. But as you can see, I got seven more of them on the grind already. Got Jeff and them right here. They working, getting it right. We getting ready to start picking here after a while, as soon as they get finished doing what they doing. What y'all doing, gentlemen? Just, just uh, fine, still, uh, got it. Yeah. There it is. It's stuck. It was. Uh, that's just that that's the reason why you had to take it off because of that one right there shaft broke oh the shafts broke oh that's why they ain't turning yeah it's normally the pin will break right here uh-huh but instead of the pin breaking on this one See, shaft's turning here. Uh huh. But the teeth ain't turning. Down there, so it's broken here somewhere. And they got a the farmer. They said it'd be fun. They said. <laughs> yeah. They didn't tell you about all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Now nah, it was showing back him. Why are they showing back him on this? It cuts the screen off to reserve the battery. Oh, okay. Because them GoPro batteries don't last long. Okay. That's why I tell you to turn the machine off. The GM don't need to be seeing this. Oh. Is this right here get ocean on my foot? I don't know. I thought I'd get my butt in trouble for falling off that damn pivot, but he was happy I got that on camera. <laughs> 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 it screwed up right there. Well, so I had my, my whole right leg was bruised. What? From the uh huh. All of it bruise well you fell from the from the top of it yeah who said that Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and i had done told him if he wanted to run bigger he could run it all kind of yesterday <laughs> he done like yeah keep he wants to get back in air condition you got a whole bunch right here now see right here you got a whole oh, bunch right there y'all see keep in there he's getting inside and everything explain to you what's going on with the cotton right here what it look like roll. ready to ride ready any soft seeds in them all of them hard yep. ready to pick then yeah, we're good, good? Yep. i just turned on our pivot trying to get it walked out of the way um Cause we're about done with the north side of the field and we got to get over to the south side this pivot is just so slow Keevy just got the picker fired up it looks like he's getting ready to pick pick it twice well that's because there's not enough cotton to pick it twice the cost to pick it twice would not add up to the profits you would make you would actually be losing money you won't even break even he's fully focused y'all 
This is what it looks like when you when a man is fully focused. Man, I'm relaxed. Look at this. <laughs> Got my hand laying on the wheel. I ain't holding the wheel top. <laughs> Uh, just learned something new, y'all. The basket, the buzzer go off when the basket get about full. So that means I got to get out the picker and go get back on the truck and get to my module so I can get ready to do some packing. Get, this, get started with it. Uh, and there it is, y'all. That's that's what we're doing today. And there he comes. Always keep it about 15 RPM. Back it down. PTO on. He's already jumping in now. So we got it looking good up there. Get it right. Got to back him up a little bit. Letting it out. Front to the back, back to the front, front to the back, back to the front. I try to pack it at least seven times. That way I got a good pack. But as I like, you know what I'm saying? This is day's work. You know what I'm saying? We work from same, same to same. Sometimes we knock off early. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? We just out here, just enjoying the, the country life. Ain't nothing else really to say about it, you know what I'm saying? It's just just fun. It's a whole lot different from the city. You ain't got to worry about all the houses and all close up on you. You know what I'm saying? Straight country living. That's how we do it. And y'all caught me today. I'm videoing and I ain't got my cowboy boots and my hat on. But next time, hopefully y'all see me. I have my cowboy boots and my hat on. So again, y'all have a blessed day. May God be with all y'all as he's been with us. You know what I'm saying? This season and all the other seasons. Y'all have a blessed day. So close. I think it's gonna. Ow! Oh. Woo! Just did clear it. Back from lunch, getting the irrigation out of my way. Got planted up under it. It's a close call. We did make it. But I walked my pivot too far. This path has not been planted, and now the pivot's too far so gotta walk it back this way just a little bit she'll be good to go pivots are always aggravating they're a blessing and a curse uh, they're a blessing for dry years you know you can you can make a crop but then when you're doing any type of tillage or really anything you've got to move them out of your way then you end up moving them too far but i guess should be thankful we've got irrigation so one pops out but I've got an idea how I'm gonna fix it take my drill give me a little hole take our knife give it a little take some zip ties put it through the hole tighten her up that should work I did uh, this side ooh but that's not good it's ripping it well maybe that wasn't a good idea let's just delete all that
It's loaded. This thing always makes a mess. It leaks. Like they spill out. So. Oops. Well, that is going to be it for me, guys. Got this loaded up. It's going to be dark here in a little bit. So get this put out and uh, that'll be it. So thanks for watching till the end. Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the field rows. Hope everybody's doing well. And we'll see you next time. Bye.